Hi, it's Deborah from Beacon of Light, and um, today is Friday, May 5th. Today is a full moon in Scorpio and an eclipse day, a lunar eclipse. So I figured I would focus today's reading on more astrological with my astrological cards to see what the message is, what's coming in um, for you possibly or as a collective. Let's see what other energy. Oop. We'll take these two and the other one flew off and we'll grab that one too. Sorry, it flew behind the desk. All right. Um, so we have three cards here. I'll turn this around. All right. Can't really see that one, so I'm going to move it up here. Here we go. Um, and then I also wanted to pull this star seed oracle. That was one of my goals also here today. I didn't expect to have three of those other cards, but that's okay. There it is. Activated Earth. Okay, so this full moon lunar eclipse, it's in Scorpio, which... Um, Mars, Mars and Pluto both rule Scorpio. Um, so there's this Mars energy here that's coming up. Leo, that's that fire. Um, it says heart, pride, loyalty, warmth, enthusiasm, creative self-expression. There is this desire, this passion. Leo is very passionate um, sign, very lots of energy. Um, and there is this seventh house. Let's see what the seventh house that means. It's a house of relationships, um, partnership, interaction, sharing, marriages, contracts, negotiation, partnerships, cooperation. Um, and then South Node, it says the past. Let me see if it says anything more. It does. Uh, Song of Creation um, holds the rewards for your new growth, a cup that is filled by your past, the path of least resistance, opposite of the North Node. And then we had this one here. It says Activated Earth, Power Plays, Ley Lines, Trust, where you're laid, you're led. So there's this opening of energy. It has to do with your passions, what ignites you, what feel, fuels your soul. And it has to do with maybe some of the things that you've done in your past lives. Some of the things that you really had a passion for some things that you really wanted to do and you never really got the opportunity to do those in your past lives or even in this life. It could be where you are fired up about wanting to do something and it may seem impossible right now, but what I'm seeing is there's a relationship card coming in here to actually help initiate a start or a support measure or um, a contract, partnership, cooperation that is going to help move you into this space that you were never able to do before. And that's saying, this, this here is like, there are power plays at hand and lines being laid. So trust where they fall at. You know, this is that leap of faith energy. If you really are passionate about something and you really want something to happen, there is this time for pause to allow the pieces of the puzzle to come together. And when they do, it's then go time because it's going to be that quick. So, but up until that point, the lines have to be laid, the people have to fall into place, the partnerships, the contracts, the sharing, and that's important too. We focus a lot on 
that maybe we don't need anybody else or we can do it all ourselves. And that's really not true. Um, we, we can do, sure, we can do a lot by ourselves. However, um, we accomplish more with more people. So there's like this inner leadership uh, quality emerging within you, not only to lead yourself and others, but to lead for this new creation. And, and this is what this creation energy is, is something you've always have been passionate about in past lives, wanting to do more, wanting to be that, that person. And Mars is kind of the, the aggressor or the person who's going to get this moving because Mars is an action sign. It takes action and it's quick and it's, it uh, wants it done now. So there's this maybe a conflict within you about how fast things should go. But this is, this is saying everything is falling into place the way it should. So maybe reassure your Mars side within you, the part that wants it to be done now, wants to reassure it that over the next six months with this eclipse energy, things will unfold divinely the way they should have back in the past in your past lives but didn't because it wasn't divine timing it wasn't the perfect timing but now is the perfect timing everything is about timing and everything is being activated right now in this earth plane here in this current reality for you to create for you to now live to your fullest passion that what you want to create but it does require partnership with others within yourself within the community within the world whatever it is you're trying to create it does require a something else to share the responsibility so that you can successfully do it this time don't try to do it on your own bring in help and let your ego dissolve when you have to ask for that help because you can't do everything on your own and a lot of people think they can and that's great but there is this message here that says it would be most beneficial for this life if you were to share the responsibility um so hope that helps and um i hope this finds everyone well and i and hey, have a great full moon. Happy Eclipse Day. Take care. Bye.